and welcome to Auten Math. In this edition of Auten Math, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. All right, so there are different ways to add and subtract polynomials. The first uh, method that we're going to use is adding and subtracting polynomials vertically. So this is typically how you would add when you're starting out uh, adding just basic numbers in kindergarten or first grade or second grade. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify and combine like terms. And we'll go through an example in just a second. So I say, what the heck? What the heck are like terms? Like terms have the same variable base and the same degree exponent. So I have an example, 6x and 3x. They have the same variable base, x, and they have the same uh, degree exponent, which is 1. Or 2x squared and 5x squared have the same variable base as x, and they have the same degree exponent. All right, so we want to identify and combine like terms. Now, when we're adding polynomials, if we add polynomials, we're going to leave the signs of the combined like terms the same and align the terms on the top and the bottom. So if I'm adding these two polynomials, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, orient them from the term with the highest exponent to the lowest. So I have 3, exponent 2, 1, and then the constant, 3, 2. And I have a space here because there's no uh, x value with just a uh, 1 as the exponent, and then plus 11 as the constant. So uh, if I'm adding polynomials, I'm going to leave the signs of the combined like terms the same, which I've done. And I'm, I'm going to align the like terms in the po top and bottom. So I have 2x cubed, x cubed, minus 5x squared, plus 2x squared, plus 3x, nothing here on the bottom, uh, negative 9 and plus 11. Then I'm simply going to add the two together. So I add uh, minus 9 plus 11, that's plus 2. And in this case, when we're adding, there's really no carryover. We're not carrying from one term to the next. We're just adding as though we're adding single values in each of these columns, or two values in each of these columns, and coming out with a single value. So minus 9 plus 11 is plus 2, plus 3 plus 0 is plus 3x. Minus 5x plus 2x squared is minus 3x squared, and then uh, 2x to the third plus x to the third is 3x to the third. Okay, now if we're subtracting polynomials, uh, we can do this one of two ways. We can change the signs of all the terms in the bottom, uh, align the like terms, and then add, or we can just subtract. So I prefer just to change the signs of the like terms and add, so that's what I've done. Uh, so if we go back to the prior example, you see it now I'm going to subtract the uh, the uh, polynomial on the bottom from the polynomial on the top. And what I've done is I'm, I've changed the signs of each of the terms. So now instead of uh, subtracting, I'm just adding. So I've just reversed the sign of each of the terms, and now I'm going to add them together. Uh, so I have negative 9 plus negative 11 plus 3x plus 0x plus 3x. Minus 5x squared minus 2x squared is minus 7x squared. 2x to the third minus x to the third is going to be x to the third. So we can, we can handle the subtract and subtraction of two polynomials this way, or we can uh, also write the values out as they were and just subtract. Either way will work, uh, but one way might work better for you than another. So let's do it this way where I'm subtracting the bottom from the top. And so I have uh, minus 9 minus, <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's going to be plus. Minus 9 mi minus 11 is, uh, it's going to be plus here too. I have minus 9 minus 11 would be minus 20. 3x minus 0 is still plus 3x. I have minus 5 minus 2 is going to be minus 7x squared. And I have 2x cubed minus x to the third uh, gives me x to the third. So I end up with the same result, the same difference, but I just handle it in two separate ways. And you can choose which way you want to handle um, the subtraction of polynomials. OK, now we can also add and subtract polynomials horizontally. And the only trick of with uh, adding and subtracting polynomials horizontally is that we need to remember to distribute the negative sign when subtracting polynomials horizontally. 
So let's take the, uh, f the first step, and we'll take an uh, example for addition. So the first thing we're going to do is just remove the parentheses, because the addition side sign just keeps the same signs in the second value, the value that we're using to subtract from the prior value. So I have 4z squared plus 9z minus 11 plus 5z squared minus z plus 3. And that simply becomes 4z squared plus 9z minus 11 plus 5z squared minus z plus 3. And then we combine like terms. Now when we're subtracting, we need when we remove the parentheses, we need to make sure that we distribute the negative sign to all terms in the parentheses following the negative sign. So in this case, we have 4z squared plus 9z minus 11. That mirrors uh, this polynomial. And we're subtracting 5z squared minus z plus 3. And when we remove the parentheses from both, we keep all the values the same, the uh, signs the same for the first polynomial. But from the uh, polynomial that uh, with which we're doing the subtracting, we uh, will change the sign of each of the terms. So it becomes minus 5z squared uh, plus z minus 3. So step two is to combine like terms. In the first example, we end up with 9z squared plus 8z minus 8. In the second example, we end up with minus z squared plus 10z minus 14. So let's just go through that process here. In the first example, I have 4z squared plus 5z squared, which gives me 9z squared, plus 9z minus z, which gives me plus 8z, minus 11 plus 3, which gives me minus 8. So we check our answer here, 9z squared plus 8z minus 8. 9z squared plus 8z minus 8. That's what we got. In the subtraction example, again, I'm combining like terms. 4z squared minus 5z squared gives me minus z squared. Plus 9z plus z gives me plus 10z. Minus 11 uh, minus 3 gives me minus 14. And we check our result. We have minus z squared plus 10z minus 14. And that's what we got for that answer. Okay, now multiplying uh, polynomials. Uh, and there are two ways to multiply polynomials. We can multiply them vertically or we can multiply them horizontally. So we're going to go through each of the steps um, in handling multiplication of polynomials in the next couple of slides. So I have 5y squared plus 3 minus 9 times y plus 11. And again, you would handle this the same way you would uh, when you were in elementary school. You line up the values that you are multiplying together, and then you create a product below the line. And again, in this case, however, there's no carrying. We just multiply the terms, and then we add them together. So I start with 11, and I might multiply 11 through the top polynomial. So I have negative 99 plus 33y uh, plus 55y squared. So with uh, when you're multiplying a constant, you're multiplying the coefficients times a constant, and you're leaving the variable as it is. When you multiply the variable, you're multiplying the variable times the variable, leaving the constant as it is. So I have uh, 11 times negative 9, negative 99. 11 times 3y gives me 33y. 11 times 5y squ squared gives me 55y squared. And then to the bottom, I add y times negative 9, which gives me negative 9y. y times 3y gives me plus 3y squared. And y times 5y squared gives me 5y cubed. So that results in a value of, and now we add these again as though they're independent terms without carrying. I have negative 99 plus 0 is negative 99, plus 33y minus 9y is plus 24y. 55y squared plus 3y squared gives me 58y squared. 5y cubed uh, plus 0 basically gives me 5y cubed. So we have all of the, uh, the values combined and simplified, we want to add like terms together as we've done in this step. Okay, now we can multiply polynomials horizontally. In this case, we're going to distribute the terms from the first polynomial across the terms of the second polynomial, just like we would when we uh, were multiplying the factors of a quadratic to get a quadratic function. So I have 2x minus 3 times 5x squared plus 3x minus 9. So I want to take that 2x squared, and I'm going to multiply it by all of the terms in the second polynomial. I say across. And then the second term, or the balance of the terms, again, across all of the terms in the second polynomial. So I end up with 2x times 5x squared. 
plus 2x times 3x, plus 2x times negative 9, uh, plus negative 3 times 5x squared, plus negative 3 times 3x, plus negative 3 times negative 9, which becomes 10x cubed, so 10x cubed, plus 6x squared, plus, or excuse me, minus 18x, uh, minus 15x squared, minus 9x, uh, plus 27. And then I combine like terms and simplify. I have like terms here and here, like terms here and here. So I have 10x cubed plus x squared minus 9x uh, squared. This should end up being, I'm sorry, plus 6x squared minus 15x squared gives me minus 9x squared. Minus 18x minus 9x gives me negative 27x. And then plus 27 gives me plus 27. So here is my answer. All right, we need to remember special product patterns as we go through this process. So let's just talk about some of the ones that we've learned so far, and I'll introduce a third to you. We have the difference of two squares. So the difference of two squares, I have square A and squared B, is just a factor to A minus B times A plus B. An example would be 9x squared minus 81 uh, would result in 3x minus 9 times 3x plus 9. So my A value here is 3x. My B value here is 9. And then I just remember the special product pattern. I have a 3x minus 9 times 3x plus 9. Also, perfect square trinomial. <coughs> I have a squared minus 2ab plus b would be a minus b squared. Or a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is the same as a plus b squared. And an example would be x squared plus 4x plus 4 would factor to x plus 2 times x plus 2. So I also have a cube of a binomial, and this is uh, an, a new, a new uh, special product pattern for you. And a cube of a binomial is a plus b cubed. And it would result in a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And you can remember, in this case, a cubed b cubed 3a squared b the exponent for a goes down one for every uh, term. So I have three here, two here, one here, and then zero here. So a to the zero, or one b cubed. In the case of b, it would uh, be increasing. I have b to the zero, b to the one, b to the two, b, thir b to the third. And when I cube a binomial, it's always, the signs are always plus, plus, and plus. And the cube of, uh, a binomial will have the difference of two values. It's the same factors except the signs are different. So I have a cubed, 3a squared b, 3ab squared, and b cubed. But now the signs change from plus, plus, plus to plus, minus, and minus. I'm sorry, minus, plus, and minus. So an example of a cubed binomial would be 8x cubed plus 36x squared plus 56x plus 27. And you could factor that to 2x squared plus 3 squared, or times itself three times. So you have to keep your eyes on the lookout for these special product patterns as you do the multiplying and uh, also the adding and subtracting.